Today I'm doing a number of videos about mail marketing and how to not get blacklisted as well as how to have better delivery rates. We're going to talk about a couple different tips, things to look out for. Uh, one thing is if you are doing mail marketing for your online business then uh, there's a good probability that you're going to be giving out coupon codes. Uh, this is particularly useful for tracking the uh, progress or the effectiveness of any of your mail marketing campaigns. However, the codes that you're using are also a very useful method for blocking your mail. And there's several things that might uh, very easily be targeted. Uh, one is your domain name and that's one reason why people uh, if you look at spam that you get yourself from you know Viagra.com or whatever then you'll notice that uh, the URL is very rarely actually linked and uh, also they will throw in some characters or they'll break it up a little bit uh, as an example, if a website is called ViagraDoctor.com, then they might uh, type it as www space uh, via, and then the A in Viagra is actually a symbol. Uh, so it's www space Viagra with a symbol space doctor space dot com and uh, by breaking this up a little bit um, a human can still see this and go oh well this is obviously www.viagradoctor.com you can assemble it in your mind and that's good enough because that gets you to the website but because it's been broken up a little bit uh, it's a little bit harder for a mail filter to stop that if for example they do a mail campaign where they actually did have the full link uh, and then say maybe you're on Yahoo or you're on Hotmail and an administrator goes oh okay well, we're getting spam that's about this certain domain so that particular domain that keyword if it's in any email from now on in the body of that email is instantly blocked well your coupon codes can be targeted in the same manner and so if you have the ability to do so then it's going to be to your benefit if you can generate batches of unique uh, coupon codes that are each uh, one use only or uh, if you can develop some kind of a wild card system where for example um, your coupon codes will be a sequence of letters and numbers of course but the only part of that sequence that actually matters is maybe four characters in some part of the center of that sequence and so on either end you can add random information but to your system it still makes sense and so your customers can still use those codes okay uh, in addition to codes and links uh, your signature line, how you sign off, is important to uh, throw that around, change it up a little bit, and also obviously your subject line. And so uh, each time that you do a new mailing, you're going to want to run all of these through uh, a little change, a little permutation, so that you stay one step ahead of any filters which might have been developed that are going to stop your mail from being delivered.